What's up SaaS Masters, my name is George and today I want to show you a cloud storage that's called Treasure. This one is on a lifetime deal right now and the limits are pretty good, but not everything is great and I will be talking about that in this video. So at the end of the day, you decide if it's a good deal or not. So let's go jump over to this deal and check out Treasure right now. Let's get started with the deal that's going on right now and it's a lifetime deal. $49 is one time payment and you have the storage forever. Now, things that you have to know about it is that you can connect to several other cloud drives like Google Drive, Dropbox, OneBox, and they will be adding iCloud and other ones that people vote for. So do have that in consideration. Now files are encrypted and let's go check out the deal that's going on. All right, so let's scroll down here. And here it is. The deal starts off at $49 and that might be enough just for anyone. That's one terabyte storage and there's a two gigabyte file size limit. So when you're uploading on the browser, you have a two gigabyte limit storage. So if the file is 2.5 gigabytes, then it won't accept it. But if you're using the application that's downloadable, you can upload up to seven gigabytes of storage. Now that's what they said, I haven't tested. Now right now, Windows is available, but not Mac. That will be coming later on and I will be showing you the roadmap in a bit. Now if you need more storage, there's a three terabyte storage for $98 and $147 for five terabytes of storage. Like I said, the limits are pretty good in that sense. Now, let's go jump over to Treasure and let me get started talking about what I dislike about it. So the first thing you have to consider is that Treasure is not fast to upload. It's slow and sometimes it even fails. I think that right now, since everyone's testing it and they're having a big overload, you might get some failures there. So for example, I upload a, a two gigabyte file and it took 50 minutes to upload. So that's quite a lot. Now, like I said, if you're looking for speed when uploading, then this deal's not for you. You can go right ahead and skip it unless they upgrade the servers. But if you're fine, if you just need a storage to store your things and you're not worried about speed, then you might be considering this, okay? Now, I uploaded some files right here, which is a GIF. If I click on it, we can preview it on the right. If I open it, it will start loading and it will preview the GIF right there. It takes a bit. Like I said, it's not fast. You can also preview text, PDFs, um, MP3s, WAV files, um, Excel files. You can all preview those. You cannot preview zip files. And what are the ones? Yeah, basically zip or other kind of like Photoshop files that are more complex. You can't see those, all right? So you can preview them and see the information, size, modified, and shared with. We can also share it. I'll get to that in a bit. Another important aspect of this is the connection. Like I mentioned before, you can connect your Dropbox, your Box, Google Drive, OneDrive is coming soon. And iCloud is also coming soon. That's in the roadmap. We'll look at that in the end. And you can connect as many accounts as you like. So they're not going to limit you on that. So let's just say you have five Dropboxes and 10, I don't know, Google Drives. Well, you can connect all of them right there and you can go see them. For example, I have my Dropbox right here. If I click on it, I see my files that I have right here on Dropbox and I can open them. I can change them around and do all of that because they're connected. That's one of the main features of this, okay? Having that connection with them. Now, other things you can do is you can favorite them so you can view them later. We can share them, which I will be showing you right now. Um, if, I, if I click on this GIF, we have several options on top. We can copy it, we can move it, we can download it, we can send it to favorites, we can share it. So for example, if I share this, I just add the email and it's gonna send over a link. I can create a public link. Now, this is a downside right now. They will be changing this in the future. They already mentioned it. Is that if I make this link public, it's it's forcing you to use a password. You can't just share the link without a password. So this is the link and here's the password, okay? And we can set an expiration date. So there's no way to share a link without a password. Like I said, they mentioned it, it's in the roadmap, it will be coming soon where you can share the link only and we can delete it. Those are the main features right there. We can also upload files, folders, and create a folder. I like this feature where you can select a folder from the drive and it'll upload everything. For example, I grabbed these photos from when I was in Colombia and basically I just selected the folder and it uploaded everything. Okay, so that's my wife and we're there, all right? So you can preview those photos in that way or open up the whole thing. So I like that feature that you can grab the folder and upload it. Some of, some other features is like you have to grab all the files and upload them. In this case, you can select folder. So things that you can consider. Now, let's go jump over to the roadmap, okay? This is what's coming, this is present quarter, second quarter of 2021, and this is what they have in stored for um, Treasure. 
things that are important is play videos on treasure yeah i saw that's that's already there increase the overall performance of the platform that's really critical that they do that right now because like i said before when i upload big files sometimes i would get fail and sometimes it'll work so need to work that drag and drop function does work so for example if i drag a file it will just upload it if i'm there improve the sign up flow website contact and third quarter the icloud integration that we were talking about the upload file limit for the desktop ops apps will be jumped to 10 gigabytes right now it's seven gigabytes um windows is available right now mac is coming soon so that's in third quarter enable folder sharing so not just the file but also also the folder and onboarding other things that i find interesting uh, continue syncing able for the cloud storage integrations well like i said before this is going to depend on how people vote for it if people ask for pcloud which is pretty popular or kufr or one of those then they will be considering it so those are things to consider so basically that is treasure one of the like i said one of the main downsides is that it fails sometimes when you upload a file and that it's slow to upload a file so big big problems for many people who are looking for those kind of features to have like faster speeds and also the file size limit might be another limitation that people don't like but at the end of the day like i said the limits are pretty good one terabyte for 49 dollars for a lifetime deal basically that's a great deal right so you can upload your files keep them there because that's the main point about having it stored on the cloud and grabbing it whenever you need it well, there you go, guys. That's the lifetime deal that's going on right now. Remember, if you guys would like to purchase it, I will leave a link in the description, which is an affiliate link. If you buy from that link, it gives you a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more. I thank you all for watching. My name's George. This is SaaS Master, and I'll see you guys later.